What's up guys, welcome to Real Beast. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make some Young Lean inspired melodies. If you guys haven't subbed already, I turn post on on, make sure you do so because it helps out a lot. Let's hop right into it. So starting out, my BPM is 120. Uh, your BPM, it, it doesn't really matter that much, uh, but a slower one would make it easier to, I guess, make the melodies. Um, let's just go ahead and grab a scale. Um, I think what's best um, in most cases for this is to use a major. So I'm gonna you just go to, Go to one of my go-to keys and use a G. Um, but you can use minor as well. It's pretty much the same notes anyway, but um, it's just easier for major. And here are the sounds I'm using. These are just custom sounds. It's nothing crazy. I'll just play them. And then a the bass. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our first melody. All right, so now let's go ahead and create our chords. Now, if you watch my videos in order, you should know everything you need to know to basically do what I'm gonna do in here, okay? So basically, we're gonna take a little technique from one of my last videos, and basically we're just gonna create a chord, all right? Seventh chord to be exact, so something like this. Okay, this is a major seventh. All right, so just do something like that. If you don't know how to create a chord, skip every other note. As you can see, I skipped every other note and then just hit the, the next one, skip that one, hit the next one, keep going. All right, so what we need to do is add one more to make it simple. Add one more, so go up here. And then from here, what you need to do is just delete the middle note. How you found the middle note, you highlight everything until you hit the middle and delete that. So now we have something like this. And now to spread our chords out, just take that root and pull it down. And let's play it. Simple as that. Let's highlight it and let's shrink it down a bit. A little too long. Okay, so now we can just keep going here. Um, let's probably go up. So we can make this simple. So if we create a chord from here, we could just use this one. Or you could use this one, but I think that might be a huge jump. So we could just skip over here and maybe put a melody in between. So from here, we could do the same thing. Let's copy it up. Okay, and then remember that, that D right here, right? It's all falling in line. Let me see. Okay, and all and you can see all the notes are here that you need to use. It's just about taking the ones out that you don't like. Um, and I don't want to use the same because if I pull this up, it's the same notes. I don't want that. So we're going to use these because these look like they sound a lot better. And we can just delete this one. Um, let's see. What else can we Maybe add another note in here. Okay, so now what we need to do is just add, I guess, support notes or just like little melodies in between. So right here, we can take this note, right? And maybe do a little sum. Let's zoom in. And then we can end on this note. So that's the way it should create like a melody. If you're not sure, you can start on this note and end on it. And now we just go up and down. And we already know how to do that. We just flame it. So do something like this. And maybe. And we just have to adjust the timing. So let's just listen to it. And let's add this note back at the end just to have some consistency. All right, so that is the melody. So now let's just go ahead and just copy it over. We don't gotta change much. And what we're gonna do now is basically just change this last note so it's a little different. All right. And then now we can copy it again. 
we want to make a full melody because we don't have to worry about drums um and then over here let's just let's see let's just probably maybe do something like this okay i think that's good enough all right so i'll play it just a little bit through just make it so you can see it All right, so our melody is done. This is our blueprint for everything else. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to the other um, sounds. All right, so let's just copy this over to this one just to make it sound a little bit more full. All right, just add a little bit more depth. Now for this next one, the idea I have for this is gonna get really complicated. I'm not really sure if I should do this. I should probably just go with something else, but um, I just wanna try it. So basically I'm gonna make an arp with these chords, except it's gonna be pretty much the same notes with a few exceptions, but um, what I'm thinking of is do something like this and then basically just trickle it down over and over for each note. And this is gonna be my blueprint right these notes so if i go back here what i want to do let's change this to one half to make it easier zoom in and we could probably start on up a little higher so something like this and then basically what i want to do is just copy over and over like that but with each chord okay so always check back and then we can end on our root let's copy it copy that root over Okay, so now let's do this part. You could check the notes if you're not sure. I'm not sure what notes to go on. Then we should land on B. And then we can add a lower B. I'm trying to go real slow so you can kind of see because this part will be very confusing um because there's so many notes to look at at once you know so um over here let me see so over here let's go ahead and put that g let's just go down from there So let's land on that F. And remember, put the root note. The root note should be pretty much the last or B. You see, I combined it on the last one. So you should pretty much just land on one of those notes to stay in harmony. That's really pretty much what it's all for. So you can see this is a lot. So. And just that little thing you could do chopping up those uh, chords can make a big difference. And I'll just put these up an octave so that it's some variation on each part. All right, so now we can go ahead and move on to the next part. All right, so next thing that we can do is play with the melodies a little bit. So you can add a little fun stuff 
in between. So what I'm gonna do is actually just make it easy and use something we already did instead of making a new one. But we can just play with it a little bit, kind of like if you had 808 slides and you just kind of you copy the melody over and you just pull stuff up. I kind of want to do that. Let's move this over in the right spot. So I'll pull this up an octave probably like that. Um, and then maybe just simple stuff like, let me see, we can just move it over and then pull it down an octave and let's see how that sounds. a lot larger and then maybe then we can pull this down to kind of complete the melody let me see i want to see the timing for this maybe move this down Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna just copy this over. And I hate when it's zoomed out like this because I can never kind of tell where to put it. Uh, okay. All right, so that's done. So now let's move on to the next little support area. All right, so we got our first counter melody here. So now let's add a second one. Now, what I wanna do with this one is something that I always do on like stuff like this and it really creates the space it gives like a space type of vibe. Uh, so how to start this is if, if what you want to do, basically what we're going to be doing is this, but we're going to crunch it down so that it's a little faster. So how do you decide what notes to start on? You can really do any note within the scale, but um, usually I go with the middle one. So I will probably start with B and then go to B. So I would just trickle it down until we hit B like that and then squish it down. Um, but you can use any of these bass notes should work but i like using the middle one so let's do that and then you could choose wherever you want i might just do it at the end i can zoom in let's go a little bit higher because it pretty much sounds better at the higher octave and you have to be careful what notes you put in here because some of it won't sound good so if i just go all the way down Right, you could tell that C won't sound good. So what I do is just delete the C and move this over. Now what you could do is do something like this and then you could just copy, let me see. Do something like this and let's go to that F. So basically we just completing the chord. See what that sounds like. Right? And that's just something unique you can add. Let's copy this over. And then on this one, basically we're gonna go the opposite way. And from here we can skip and go to the D right here. And let's just copy this over. I don't want this to kind of go too long. And since this overlaps, we can just move this all the way to the front. All right, so here's the whole melody and I'll just kind of, it's a lot of notes though. All right, so that is our counters. So now let's move on to the bass, which is the last part. Okay, so now let's do the bass. And this part is the easiest part. You already know, right? You don't always have to start on the root, but you know, if you're just starting out, just start on the root so you get comfortable. So just copy and paste that in, delete that because I don't know how that paste it over there. And let's just stretch this out. Let's pull this up a little bit.
And of course, it'll sound better. Well, let me zoom in because it's probably you probably can't even see the notes. So over here, I would just pull mm -hmm. this one down an octave. It's something I hear a lot in Young Lean stuff where the bass kind of with the synth bass. Let me be exact. It just pull it'll pull down really fast. And then go back up to this root. Then we could do that again. Maybe. Let me see. Then maybe we could go down. And yeah, I think that's good. So let's pull it down an octave. All right, and that's just, that's the beat. So let's just hear it all together. Oh wait, here we go. You can see it kind of gives that young lean synth based style with this. All right. So that's going to be it for this video. That was the melody. Um, Probably do another one with a full beat with a completely different melody and everything. But hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.